Hi guys, Gandia here with the H Journal. I'm back with part three of the junk journal from a cereal box and we're going to get into the inside and start doing some decorating. So I have pulled out a bunch of goodies for the inside. As you can see, I went through my scrap pile and pulled out scraps, went through my ephemera piles, pulled out those, got some lace and cheesecloth for layering, picked out some stamps that I want to use inside. I'm kind of going for a travel slash um, postal theme. So with lots of numbers and letters kind of thrown in there just randomly. And so I got lots of stuff for that kind of thing. I still would like to have this ribbon that I would like to use with it. And let me grab that. I have a couple types of ribbon I would like to use with it. I didn't grab that one. And some of the, some of this would be pretty because that has like this iridescence to it. And this right here is what I was talking about. Some of this will be really cool in there too. Okay. So I was thinking of adding this just inside here at the edge, just to finish off the edge. And I like that a lot. That is really pretty. Because I'm not liking this edge very much. I didn't do a very good job at it. I went over the curve a little too much so the paper's wrinkling up a little bit so I want to cover that up a little bit and I want to put this here inside here so people can put their name in here and then in the back I'll probably put a pocket in. <laughs> so let's get started. Let's start by inking up this. We're going to be doing lots of inking today. And we'll be getting our coffee dye by Ranger, our coffee ink by Ranger. And our dauber here. And let's grab a piece of scrap paper to work on. Everything pushed back here so I can be in the space. And let's get this inked up a little bit. Make it a little darker, a little more grungy. There we go. So I like that in there. I like the pop of the blue. It's different. It's just unexpected. It's not the same as what you would normally think would go there. So I'm just going to pop it right in there. And there we go. We got our first thing set in on the inside. Now let's see here about adding this right here. Let's go ahead and do it. Okay, we're going to snip off right here. And we're going to some glue on this. And we're going to pop it down. Just 
Sorry, I can't talk very well and think at the same time. go. Give it a little bit bling without being overly feminine. And it spread a little bit, so let's cut that off. Love it. Looks so pretty. Yes, it does. Okay, let's do the back. This is the spot where it looks the worst right here. Tried gluing it down and it didn't work. Okay, trim it up. We got this little spot of bling left that we can use elsewhere in the journal. And we're going to glue her up again. And put her down. There, that looks much better. Much, much better. Even finish. Gives it a little bit of interest. Butted it up right up against that little lip so it hides the mistake there. So, let's see what we got here. So we got some cheesecloth. Let's make a little, little something with some cheesecloth. I got this fun little ruler looking piece here. Let's trim it all the way out. So this is what I do is I just pull out a bunch of stuff and start pulling through the pile and seeing what I like with it and start making little pieces to go together to pop into different spots in the book to be different little collage spots. Let's ink this up. And we're going to ink up the cheesecloth too.
Get it nice and grungy looking. There we go. And what should we add to it? One of these tags. Yes, I like that. I always work in threes or fives. Let's ink the edges of this up even though we have it coffee dyed. I want to make it even more grungy around the edges. And let's, when we put this down, we're going to glue the price, the string down too. So let's find a spot in here that we like for it. Let's see here. Let's put it on the music sheet paper. Little spot right here. That looks cute. So we're just going to put a little bit of glue down and stick down our cheesecloth. Now I'll pop a little glue on the back of this. And a little glue on this. And we'll put a little dot of glue right here for gathering the string in. There we go. That looks real cute. So we got our first little thing done in the journal and as you can see the cheesecloth will stick out a little bit and I love it. It looks super cute. Now we got to do something else. Let's set a stamp there so that will stay open because I got a little too much glue on the top. I think this will make a really cute tuck spot but it needs inked up. I like how the red tone of it kind of goes with the burgundy tones in the front of the book of the quill and pen, or no, the quill and the wax stamp. And what else do I want to have? It? Oh, I have this pocket that I want to turn into a pocket slash tuck spot. And I have most of it already inked up, but I want to ink the inside of it up too. And it needs glued. you'll see it and let's glue it together and then we can glue this into the book so we got two pocket slash tuck spots. See, I wonder if there's something I can stick on top of that so that way we don't have to wait for this to dry. What about a button? No, don't like that button. Let's see here, what do I have? Ooh, I kind of like these brown buttons. Let me pull this off of here. Let me get the wire off of it. Actually, I'll just leave the wire on. Okay, there we go. I love that button. And it sticks on perfectly well, and we can move on without any. And this will go. These brown buttons go beautifully with the coloring of the book. 
No, let's deck, let's get this main first main page something done with it. Let's do the text spot on it. Let's see, do I want it to be on this side so I can tuck in right here, or do I want to do it on this side and tuck in over here? I think I want to do it on this side, tuck in like this. Ooh, I forgot I have this on the back. But I like that better. Yeah, let's use that. Too many choices. Okay. Now, I like this. This came off of a shirt that I lot found for 50 cents on clearance so I thought hey I love the ruffle so let's do a little rough little bit with that here and then what else do we got here oh I know let's put a little bit of this on here This is the Ranger film strip, the Ideology film strip ribbon. I love this stuff. It just looks so cool. Let's see here. How do I want to do this? or don't die that is the question I'm just gonna rip the edges give it a roughed up edge And I have this mini card in here somewhere. Let's see if I can find it in the pile. That would look really cool here too. It's a little ace card, a little mini ace right here. Okay, I like that. And then a the little tuck spot here. Or it's kind of turning into more of a pocket here. So let's ink up this back strip here. And our ink has disappeared. So it's all about just kind of playing until you find something you like together. That's all I do. It's just play with the papers and the stuff, the, the junk I have collected. I really just collect junk. That's all I do. <laughs> it's nothing. Sometimes I do. Most of the time my stuff is comes from thrift stores and this is my scrap paper junk and I put it together and make it look pretty. Now let's rip this a little bit more. Make it a little more edgy. Okay, let's glue down our strip of paper. Then let's do glue down this fabric. 
but like this is something I just picked up at the thrift store. I think I'm gonna trim it off right here. And then let's glue down our fabric, our tech, our strip of film strip. And let's staple it in a couple spots just to make sure it stays down. Staple it right here and right there. And then we'll glue our card on. Okay, and then we can tuck something in there. Like I have this cool tag. It says Paris with a bicycle on it. I love it. And then I have that envelope I made for this journal, which would be nice to have in the beginning of the journal. Let's see if I can find it. Here, here it is. Let's see if it's big too big for this or not. Well, it kind of fits. Yeah, if I'll make it fit. There we go. And then we got a really fun, pretty page. I just need a ribbon or something for that. Or you know what? I have this strip of tape here. Let's use that and glue, staple it on with our mini stapler. Oh, that is cute. Okay, I'm not going to leave those in there for right now and let the glue dry. I don't want to have those get stuck in there and be ripping them out, but that's a cute first page. I like it a lot. So that's what I do is I just go through the book and I just keep doing that. We'll do it a couple more times and then I'll um, finish up off camera and come back and do a flip through of the final book. Let's see, where should we add this in at? You know what? I might just add it as a floating pocket in like right here. With a pretty paper clip. I think that's what I'll do and I'll probably put something in it. Okay, what else should we do? What should we do next? Okay, got this fun little ship. So that would be a fun if you're traveling. Let's see here. Where should we put that? Why don't we put it right here? That looks really pretty on this page. Let's stick it on the bottom center and we'll make it a tuck spot. So let's ink it up. So we're just going to stick it down here and just going to put a little bit of glue right on the very bottom of it so that we can tuck something into it. My hands are getting dark full of glue. Okay guys, so we were working on this page and I thought that since the um, my camera 
died on me and we're having to come back and start over again. This is dry now. I thought we'd pop this postcard into here and I thought that would look good. And then I found this piece of paper that I thought would fit nicely in here. It's some ledger paper and give some nice writing for journal spot for inside there. And then thought we'd this is dry now, so I thought we'd pop these back in here. And then I was thinking we would do some stamping. So um, what I do when I'm going through a journal is I kind of work with just a little bit in each signature so that I don't run out of stuff for my sig all my signatures. So like we did one thing, we did second thing, we did a third thing, and then we have this fourth little pocket thing here. So we did a little bit in, the, in this first signature, and so then that leaves us plenty of stuff for, oh, here's Lady Grey. We're filming, so you need to go find somewhere else to lay. She wants to sit in my chair today, but I'm in the chair. <laughs> Um, so that way I have enough room in each of my signatures for, even though I have a lot of stuff here, but I want to make sure I have enough stuff so each of my signatures has stuff. And then I'll come back through my signatures and fill up a little bit more after um, I'm done with each of it and fill where I feel like there's a gap and needs more. So the next thing I'm going to do is do a little bit of stamping. So I have all these fun stamps and I have this maroon ink that I thought would be fun to use some of. So I have this stamp that says International November 24th, 2017 or 17. So I'm just going to stamp that in here. Probably let's do it twice. Do it in the front and the back of the signature. And then add this fun postcard stamp. This is a Stampin' Up stamp. And I actually want to do that in the brown, in the coffee dye. Make sure I get it all inked up good. And let's just stick it right here. didn't get that good well we'll become we'll have to cover that up with something let's try it somewhere else and I have an old mouse pad that I found at the fish store let's try it on this page that works great for stamping on top of that I just got for like a buck and we'll just stick that in here in between and use that to get ourselves a better image, hopefully. Oh, there we go. That's much better. And then I have this fun stamp that has lots of seals on it. And we'll do that one in the maroon. here let's use our thing oh that looks really pretty and let's use our rub fine rubber stamp here in the center of the signatures let's do it on this side I just love this stamp. See how pretty it turned out? I got this at Hobby Lobby in their clearance section. It's a Stampers Anonymous stamp and it's just so much fun. It's just one of those stamps you can use over and over again that just never gets old. And then I have this one. Let's 
just like a seal with a postcard and it's in like French I believe that turned out good and then I have this fun circle stamp that I thought would be cute to do in a couple spots Like that that looks cool okay so we did a little bit of stamping here gave a little bit more pizzazz to our pages and we got a few things tucked in here all looks super cute and so what I'll do is I'll finish um, decorating this up and come back and in part four, it's gonna end up being a four parter. Um, I'll do a flip through of the journal so you can see what the finished journal looks like with it all decorated up with all its tucks and spots. And I'll share that with you guys next week.